the thing that was interesting to me when I looked at this was funny enough there's certain professions that would if we didn't take the route of it being an apocalypse there's certain professions that would still be alright because if you think about it money determines what people do throughout the day usually in terms of like a five day yeah. week yeah. Uh, so when you have no money to do this job that you might not like or that you're doing you, yeah. you, you'll you see hobbies sort of soar and by that I mean you'll see artists ah, this, is, this is you're in chaos this, you, 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 this you're is not a... going to find someone just sitting there like, <laughs> oh, you, you don't, you don't you're not going to begin the apocalypse by going oh mate I've I need to go get my <laughs> no that's not what's going to happen is it I feel, like, yeah. it doesn't matter I, I understand what you're saying but it's not in practical application I don't think it would be happen it would happen yeah like in that. practical people application would in, yeah. people would be panicking it's not a it's not a relaxed situation yeah I agree but I'm just saying if it was somehow relaxed right and that uh, this let's just say the whole no money situation wasn't a surprise it's been talked about for like years the governments have all agreed to it and there's some sort of i don't know some sort of bartering in place that works completely fine right so that i mean all right okay hypothetically yeah this I'll is try. very hypothetical yeah i will really try yeah. and place myself in that like we said we'll see that th there'll be no services being done right there'll be no i feel like no jobs i feel like you'll, you some people would still do it because of the enjoyment they have of it right and by so that it wouldn't because it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't work yeah even if you even if you liked going to your desk and filling out your your spreadsheet every day you wouldn't be allowed because the people who open the office or the people who maintain the office would close wouldn't it it's not i mean it's not so simple as i do my job anyway truck drivers they might still want to do their job but then the guy who <laughs> brings you the, the you know the supplies that go in the truck won't be there so it's just like um yeah, there's, okay. You know, there's a chain of there's a chain of jobs, and as soon as it one of the links break, then it doesn't work. So I don't think it's so simple as I would continue doing work. I think it would yeah, I, I guess you're. Right. I guess there's, there's no even if you think about it hypothetically, you just you can't because it just wouldn't make sense. I mean, YouTubers, I guess would would just you know they'd have a great time because so you know self sufficient. They just keep producing videos, True. videos that are. How to survive the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Best tips to survive, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And I, I guess these people who are, um, you know, what they work for themselves entirely. Like musicians, are, artists, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess that would, that may still, that may still happen. You know, like you say, there might be a musician who just wants nothing more from life, despite the apocalypse than to make music so they would just continue to make music but then but then you know what platforms you release it on because suddenly <laughs> the people who who look after the spotify servers are sat at home doing fuck all because they don't want to go in and then there's no internet and there's no this and there's no that and it's just like a whole thing yeah and then who who would run the hospitals who would who would be serving the patients yeah who in reality would would the doctors volunteer to work if there if there was no money if there was no benefit other than they have to or they well, yeah have to, other, people, other people die if you think of the the volunteers that volunteer for the coronavirus pan like this current pandemic there was like five hundred thousand volunteers within the first couple of days like people that yeah. know they're not going to get paid but still trying to help that's quite comforting yeah okay maybe right but I guess yeah, it's that's... a completely different situation where yeah you know they or is still it though. Like, no, but it is because after they finish their voluntary shift and they have a home to go to, they have people who are still making money in the house, right? I assume, and most of them, they're not because you wouldn't volunteer unless you had the ability to do so. You know, you're not going to find someone who needs money desperately volunteering, are you? So I think that if it all did break down, then volunteering, you know, I, I feel like that wouldn't happen because people have to spend their time gathering resources. The fundamentals, again. Yeah, yeah. It just all links back to, to the, the commodities that you need to survive. Not to mention the fact that you've got to overestimate the amount that people will panic and the amount of things will go wrong because people do panic, like we saw in the pandemic stuff. Like the beginning of it, 
people were shitting themselves and it's funny you know now you go to the shop and you, you the likelihood that the toilet rolls out of stock is very low yeah obviously very very low but at the beginning of the pandemic when there were only like what like 30 people infected in in britain it, the, the shelves are empty in every other store like so it's this whole it's, it's a panic it's it's like a societal disease in, in and of itself it's a scary thought. I don't. I don't. And I don't really want to be a part of that if it ever happens. Like an apocalypse will stop. But that's the thing. If you're not, it's this whole kill or be killed thing, isn't it? Because if you're not a part of the scenario, then you're you lose the resource. 